So this is the backend of my actual eBay account right here. You can see underneath right here that my today's sale is 191. My last seven day sale is over 5,000 and my last 30 day sale is over 12,000 and last 90 day sale is over 34,000 right here. This account that you're watching right here, it's actually little over one year old. So on this particular account, I've been doing different types of dropshipping. So today what I want to talk about is Amazon to eBay dropshipping. The new tool which I've been using is called eSync. So in this video, I want to show you how easily you can find the products using eSync, list those products within one click as well, and what to do once you actually receive the order, how to process that. So everything is really, really easy. I've been using eSync for last two months as well, and it is actually a really great way to make money from Amazon to eBay dropshipping. So let's get started. So first of all, by using a link inside the description, you can sign up for the free trial. I'm also going to put the discount code inside the description. You will actually get 50% off. On a sign up page, you just need to put your email address. You just choose the password and it is simple as that to sign up. Then use the details to actually sign into that one. And I will show you what to do once we actually sign into the account. So once we sign into the eSync, it can ask you to actually select the store. In my case, it is eBay. So I'm going to select eBay. The next thing that you have to do is select the region. In my case, it is the United Kingdom, but it works with many, many countries depending on wherever you are. Once you're going to select the region, it's going to ask you to actually sign into your eBay account. It's just going to open another window within a browser. So all you have to do is just simply sign into eBay account and just click on agree and your account your ebay account will be linked with eSync. So once you're going to log into your eSync account after linking your eBay store, this is how everything going to look like inside. On the left hand side, you got dashboard, you got order, you got a finder, you got listing, you got preview messages and setting. At the moment, I will go through one by one as well. But in order for us to actually make our dropshipping business profitable, we need to do a couple of settings inside eSync as well. So what I normally do, just simply come to the setting, I will come to the product product finding and product listing eSync have a lot of features inside that's the reason I really really like it over other tools as well so let's go inside the settings first once you come inside the setting the first thing we have is a repricing it is very very important to actually do the right setting right here first of all what you're going to do is simply enable that one and once you enable it just click on the arrow right here and you will be inside right here. First of all, enable repricing and this is quantity in a stock how many of the item you want to list onto your store. So let's say you want to start with, depending on your limit, I normally put it three right here. And then is it is a, a shipping time. So let's say we got shipping time depending on your supplier at the end of the day. But if we are doing Amazon to eBay drop shipping, the deliveries are very quick. So I normally put it one working day. That is more than enough. And then you can enable the check duplicate across uh, all the store as well. So if you have have a multiple stores you know i have a multiple store linked inside but if you have more than one store you can just simply check that mark this one right here is for the walmart mostly if you are in america and you are shipping the product which are under 35 pound obviously walmart gonna charge 5.99 for the delivery as well but if you wanna check this box this is relevant to us audience only as well so now let's go to write this one right here which is a uh, offer selection setting now do you want to charge for the delivery if it's amazon uh, i normally do free shipping handling time i will put it to down to one day and then if you want to allow the offers you know i normally allow that that's not really a problem for me as well so i will allow the offer as well or if you want to i will leave the rest of these just like empty and the condition citing how you want to list these item i normally leave it to brand new as well in america this is for the walmart as well and this is for the aliexpress if you are doing the from aliexpress depending on how long your supplier take you can actually adjust the delivery time and the shipping price right here as well now we go back to repricing setting and is there any additional fee that you want to charge 
normally what I do, this is 30p, which is going to be like a default eBay fee. But what I normally do, this one gonna be default to 10, but I put it up to 15% because on some item, the fee is higher than 10% as well. So 15%, 13% to 15% is the kind of sweet spot, but you have to keep in mind that once you're doing a drop shipping, you have to really sometime manually adjust the prices at the same time as well. So I will save that to 15% coming back to, uh, you know, uh, this, the next option is around prices. So let's say your item price is $9.99. If you enable this round pricing option right here, what it gonna do, it gonna knock it up to 10 pound. But I normally leave it like that, so I don't, but if it's this is something you wanna make your prices round, that's not the problem. Now, next thing is a sale count. I normally leave this one enable as well, uh, sorry, disable as well. I don't really need to enable that. If I go back right here, this is the item location setting. And this is important depending on wherever you're doing from. All the tracking number, whatever you're gonna do, it actually start from this location, which I will show you actually eSync have that feature built inside as well. So we select the country depending on, you know, I am in the United Kingdom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do United Kingdom right here, and then you need to put the location. So let's say I put uh, London, and any postcode you can put right here. So let's say E82JS any postcode you can put right here. Uh, it can be your home postcode. It can be your, you know, any postcode. If, if you save it, that's where the tracking gonna start as well. So we save that, come back to the settings again. We're done with the repricing. Next one we got is the automatic ordering. I will come down to how to actually set up the automatic ordering once I show you how to fulfill the order, but you wanna enable that option if you don't want to process the order manually this is the way like it, this business with e-sync it can be completely automated you list the product and then with the automatic ordering it take very less time like literally once you set it up then everything is automatic after that so the next one we got is right here is auto messages the v auto messages work this is a, a feature built inside the e-sync as well so once your customer gonna actually order then the e-sync automatically gonna send them a, a thank you message so it's going to be generated by your eBay store and customer will receive the message on eBay. So this is right here. I have this one once the buyer buy it. Once I add a tracking number, which I'll show you how what is the solution for that and you know because amazon tracking number is not accepted by ebay but e-sync have a solution for that inside as well so if when the order will deliver then it also gonna send the message as well i got all three of them it actually encouraged the buyer to leave more feedback so just simply gonna click on save and now the next setting that we got is a tracking and this is a super important i enable that one go right here what gonna happen if you're using amazon as a supplier in this case we're doing amazon to ebay drop shipping so because amazon tracking numbers are not accepted by ebay so what eSync can does is can actually replace the tracking number. So now those items can be tracked and that tracking number will be accepted by eBay as well. So this is a really, really great feature. It's gonna replace that instantly. I normally just check only Amazon carrier because only Amazon tracking number won't be accepted, but other tracking number will be accepted by eBay. So I don't need to check all of them, just only Amazon one. And down in a market, down in a, a source markets right here i will normally just you know leave all of them checked as well even though i'm not really doing with all of them but you know most likely it's amazon uk but you can just leave them all of them just simply click on save come back to setting and now the next one that we got is a, a sync unknown listing leave this one as it is because we're not going to be doing manual listing in any, any way the colleague this one let's say you want to give a access to your virtual assist assistant or anybody else to e-sync you can enable that don't need to worry about that as well the watermark feature is actually very very useful so if i enable that one and then i go to the setting i can actually put my logo right here let's say i don't want any other drop shipper to actually copy my item what i can do i can put my logo on a picture so this is very very useful to do you can upload your logo here and whenever async is going to list your item it's gonna put the logo on the picture as well so this is a useful feature if you got a logo enable that option upload your logo right here and that 
the way it is going to work okay so the next one we got is a listing temple the template so with the listing template it is very very you uh, it is also if you look inside the async the template that they have they already put the picture inside the description so this is a, a really a good looking temple that they already have in the default so you don't really need to if you need to make a change is that fine but i normally leave it the way it is going back to the settings again the next one that we have is a revian so at the moment just leave that revian there is nothing right here as well and then one uh, then we got reauthorize right here so with the reauthorize sometime it doesn't happen but let's say your e-sync account is not syncing with the ebay then you can click right here and you can connect your store right here that what this feature does so this is all the settings that you have to do the way i showed it to you i recommend doing it along with me so once you do it just come back to this part of the video and you will be able to set up your store properly so the reason i am doing these these a lot of these settings which exist and inside the e-sync a lot of other dropshipping tools do not have that and then you have to buy the separate solution for these kind of things as well but e-sync got all of that inside as well so this is a really useful feature now let's talk about how we actually gonna list the product and how we actually gonna find the product because that's a very useful thing inside the eSync as well. So we're gonna find the product, we're gonna list them and I'm gonna show you how to fulfill the orders as well. So inside the eSync, once you're gonna come, this is just going to be your dashboard. So on the dashboard, you're gonna come to the finder tab right here. On to the finder tab, once you come inside the finder tab, now we got a source market right here. The source market by the default, it is going to be amazon.com but you can actually change it because i am in the uk so i'm going to do amazon.co.uk right here the next best feature that eSync right have here is called category so you can actually filter the products which i will show you what it is doing is it is actually looking at the sales of the product it, it is actually looking at the competition of the product is actually looking at the profit margin of the product as well so you don't really need to do anything manually right here it is all the data gonna come up right here the reason we're going to select the category because some categories on amazon are gated categories in a simple words you can't actually list in those categories unless you have a permission so for example electrical items those type of thing as well so you can actually select the category where you don't need to worry about those sort of things so i'm going to select home and garden right here once i select home and garden it is giving me tons of product at the moment uh it is giving me about 800 products right here and giving giving me uh, the profit margins and giving me the competition all that kind of stuff as well but i like to narrow down my search further down so what you can do is just simply turn on this filter and you can filter this one further down as well now minimum competition i don't want pro what you want to do like you don't always want to have no competition for the product you want to have a little competition which means the product is worth selling at the end of the day so i will put one because at least somebody else is selling it and it is proven that this product is being sold maximum competition five because i don't want product to be very competitive you know minimum sold i sometime if you put minimum sold very higher you are missing out on the opportunity so if the product is actually selling then it gonna have three sales and if it's product uh you don't want product to be like a very highly selling as well because then that product gonna have a lot of competition so i'm gonna put 10 right here minimum price like for me it is 10 and the maximum price is 100 because i don't want product to be super cheap where i don't make any profit and then i don't want product to be uh, you know expensive as well so i will do 99 98 right here because that's a lot of people this is how they list as well minimum selling price max selling price i leave normally that one empty so once i come right here now async is giving me a lot of products a lot of products right here and it is actually telling me the competition it is telling me the profit margins it is selling me the number of sales as well so here i can actually select the product depending 
depending on what profit margin I am comfortable with at the end of the day. Here, something you need to keep in mind once you're doing Amazon to eBay dropshipping is like, no, always you can only list the product which is going to have a higher profit margin. You need to mix them up. At the end of the day, sometime the number of quantity of the item that you're going to be selling are more important than the profit margin rather than just sitting down and waiting for the order as well. So you can mix up the product right here. The way to do that, because the listing is super easy. So what I normally do once I filter these product, I select, if you want to like, let's say list all of them, you can just simply select all of them. But if you want to do a little bit manual kind of things as well, you can look at the product like this one looks good near the Christmas, this one, uh, you can select the product that you want to list as well. You can select multiple of them. And once you select them, just simply click on approve right here. You can see this one right here. You click on approve. And as soon as you're going to click on approve, that product will be automatically listed onto your eBay store because it is already connected. You don't need to do anything. It's already synced up. It is already listed right there as well. Once you have listed, you can come down to listing tab right here and you will be able to see your listings right here as well after if you need to adjust something manually let's say the prices or any of that kind of stuff as well you can just simply do that right here as well now let's talk about once you're going to receive the order how you're going to fulfill them because there are two ways either you can set the automatic one or you can do it manually as well depending on whatever you prefer at the end of the day as well now once you are going to receive the orders what you can simply do come down right here into the order sections and all the orders are going to show up right here as well then if you want to do it manually which i don't recommend you can set up the auto ordering and not worry about it as as well i will actually show you how to do that so if you are doing it manually it's gonna tell you the item right here it's gonna also give you the 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 asin for amazon so you can just simply copy that one go to the amazon and then actually just simply put the customer address which is gonna show up right here and you will be able to just send the order directly from amazon to your customer as well but if you have set up the auto ordering if you want to set up that one, you just simply come on to fulfillment tab right here. You can see right this one right here and inside the fulfillment tab. So what you can do is just simply click on create account or the create account. You just need to put your email address for your uh for your amazon first of all select the platform put the email address then put the billing address right here in the payment balance you can actually use your gift card but as soon as you're gonna add your amazon account right here then this is the way you can actually set up the auto ordering in order for you to actually top up your account because if you want to add the money inside the eSync for the auto fulfillment you can actually do that using payneer paypal and they even accept crypto as well and if you are doing in a multiple currencies let's say you got some account in Europe, some account in the UK, some account in Canada, some account you can top up using multiple currencies as well. So this is the way you can actually set up the auto ordering inside that one as well. At the end, eSync have great features inside their tool as well, which to be honest with you, I have used many other tools for Amazon to eBay dropshipping. But the reason I like eSync because they have a lot of the stuff built inside, like finding the product messages, tracking number, you know, need to worry about getting a tool a subscription for a multiple tools at the end of the day as well it is all in one place at the end i will leave the link for e-sync inside the description along with the discount code they have a 50 percent off right now for the new year as well and uh, along with that if you have any question or anything they have also live chat function as well so if you have some problem with the tool you can always chat to them live there uh, inside uh, the e-sync as well uh check the link inside the description and i see you in the next video